I'm Frédéric Delien from the Oracle Mobile Platform team. If you are serious about getting mobile on the cloud, you probably have a keen interest in security. In this episode, you will learn what security features are available in the Oracle Mobile Cloud service and how you can use them to protect the integrity and confidentiality of your data. Mobilizing your organization means that you need to expose your existing data and applications to your new mobile end users in a secure fashion and with the appropriate governance. However, your current IT architecture has probably not been designed with mobility in mind. This means that your organization probably never planned the user accounts and roles used to protect your data and systems to be used outside the corporate firewall. The security features in MCS have been designed to help you tackle that problem. MCS allows you to define user accounts and roles that are specific to the users of your mobile applications. This means you can tailor the security model to the needs of your mobile apps. Access to your mobile assets, such as custom APIs and storage collections, is possible to authorized users only. MCS authorization is defined on roles rather than user accounts, which streamlines the user management process. After all, aren't your business processes built around roles rather than persons? On the other end, those processes usually involve on-premise applications or third-party services. This means MCS needs to authenticate against other systems on the behalf of mobile users. To do that, just configure the appropriate security policy and specify the required credentials. Simple. To protect the confidentiality and the integrity of your data, MCS supports several proven industry standard authentication technologies. You will learn more about these in other episodes. Authentication, in the context of MCS, happens at the level of mobile backends. This means a mobile application can authenticate to multiple backends at the same time. However, the user profiles and the roles they belong to do not belong to the backend. They are rather defined in a container called a realm. A backend can be associated with one and only one realm, but realms can be shared across multiple backends. This makes the user management process more agile and more flexible. Security is not a task that you can complete, but rather an ongoing process. As time passes, all the standards, technologies and protocols are left behind, replaced by better and stronger alternatives. This explains why the key design principle behind MCS security is encapsulation. In other words, we try to hide the complexities of security as much as possible. That way, you can focus on building great mobile applications without worrying about implementation details, which are bound to change over time. The most visible consequence of that design decision can be seen in the MCS SDKs and in the connector APIs. If you are using the SDK, the code you will write to authenticate against MCS will stay the same even if you switch from one authentication technology to another. You only need to adjust the application's MCS configuration file. On the other hand, connector APIs are secured through the application of a security policy. Switching one authentication technology for another simply means that you need to apply and configure a different security policy. The rest of the connector definition will stay the same and there should be little to no impact on the custom APIs consuming the connector. Another huge advantage of connector APIs is that they enable you to authenticate against systems that do not rely on the MCS or Oracle Cloud user stores. In other words, users authenticate against MCS and MCS will authenticate on their behalf on other systems. The required credentials are securely stored in MCS and you do not need to manipulate them in your code, which would be a huge security vulnerability. Behind the scenes, they are managed through the WebLogic Credential Store framework, a very mature API used for a long time in production applications. The consequence of that is that you can be sure everything is properly protected and encrypted. MCS has been designed for maximum flexibility. This means the usage of the SDKs and of the connector APIs is purely optional. You are free to code everything yourself if you wish so. 
In addition, you can also configure APIs to accept anonymous calls. Such calls will then not be conducted in the context of a mobile user. Authentication and authorization are major parts of access control, but will not be as effective without proper audit. Out of the box, MCS logging features enable you to follow the path of requests received from mobile applications. If you need more, it is also possible to use custom events in order to reach the proper level of auditing. Remember that custom events defined for an application can be monitored and measured by MCS analytics. Since you can add properties of your own to those events, you have everything you need in order to fulfill your audit requirements. Today, you have learned about the various security-related features of MCS. The one thing you should remember is that MCS takes security very seriously and will evolve over time to guarantee the confidentiality and integrity of your data. That's it for now. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you soon. Mm -hmm.